What is up, YouTubers? John Zakir, and welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And in the last video, we well, we hanged out with Yuri a bit more, uh, continuing her things and whatnot. And uh, yeah, um, we're almost completely done her route now. Um, we already finished, like, with Natsuki's, we would have been finished at this point already because we did her weekend event in our original playthrough when we were going with Natsuki route, or Siori route, I mean. And uh, we haven't actually done Yuri's uh, Sunday yet, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing next. And we should be going through Act 2 and probably getting through the rest of this game also in this episode, maybe. But we'll see. Anyways, <clears throat> I began increasingly ex uh, anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I kept telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly in, in uh, and, I, and also in intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when uh, it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She would um, extremely uh, press it at first, but it was, wasn't was long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't really heard much from Sayori, and we're going to this Sayori's house. This part we can skip because we've seen this already. This is like already stuff to go through. And it's like, oh, you have depression? Oh, man. It's like, you know, we'll always be, always be there for you and all that. All right, here we go. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a little, uh, feel a moment of panic. Yuri. Are you Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting... I wasn't home yet. Uh, were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get a little uh, nervous when nobody was answering the doorbell. Yeah, you could have always texted me. If I had known you would be... Uh, I would have uh, reassured you and hurried more on the way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should have it should be common sense to be that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyways, let's go inside. I see you brought your stuff with you. That's right. Um uh, and did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yep, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. Uh, yeah, this is the first time we're actually seeing the room. Uh, what button was it? It was Y. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I get to see the room now. We never actually see the room yet. We only see it in this, uh, sort of thing, so. The, fir the first thing she does is glance around uh, casually, which makes me feel anxious. So clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so. Ah, uh, that's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. It would... I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would it have uh, gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be more than embarrassing. Wait, don't you... Wait, don't look in there. Yuri snatches a wrist uh, watch from... Was in the possession of my open uh, desk drawer of mine. Buddy's howling. <laughs> As I'm starting the video, okay, I will be right back. I'm probably not even gonna cut this, so just give me a second. Yeah, I just think Buddy was howling. Thing is, it's still like, um, I mentioned a few videos ago uh, on the series that Buddy was um, kind of going a little insane right now because Bella's in heat. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. 
I snatched Yuri's uh, wrist, which was in the process of opening the desk drawer of mine. I actually read that a lot better when I came back. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly on her lap as if she makes sure she keeps uh, track of them. So, um, should we get started? Yeah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things uh, pla uh, planned so you can help with. Also, I do want to point out, why is there a coat rack right there? You see that, like in the corner of the room right there? Why, why is it on, why is it there? Anyways. <clears throat> Decorations and other atmosphere uh, element enhancements. A atmosphere and enhancements. You know, food lighting and uh, aromathy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't think you pla planned to take it that far. Of course. We want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop just by just to look, look out for uh, curiously. And for the cupcakes, I guess. I determined to prove an ex uh, exper experience that will leave them wanting more. Well, that's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Or is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's some uh, something that I like ache about you, actually. Oh, is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I, I kind and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Here, your images through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and wooden uh, cinder-shaped objects. I do some shopping while. I did shop. I, uh, I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have some in my in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light up the room. So I think it would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, what, what's the wooden thing though? Oh, this. It's a diffuser for session idols. How familiar are you with the uh, aromatherapy? Uh, not familiar at all, except for photosynthesis, photosynthesis, <laughs> I wish you guys can actually see me, because I was doing the motions that like a Spongebob, <laughs> anyways, ah, is that so, it's one of my favorite, uh, contributes to a positive atmosphere, depending on the oils and herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself, you can even feel the uh, premium through the bot through your body, relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cinder uh, and pushes it, pushes a switch on the bottom. In the moment, it, a thin tray of va vapor begins to spread throughout a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is th is that one for? This is a jasmine scented oil. It smells like a little sweet for flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for a, an event because it pr provides more than relaxation. Uh, jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them feel uh, flow through the body. You feel warm. You feel warm, and your heart pounds more heavenly. Do you think that would be perfect for sharing your poems? It does sound suitable, but uh, you seem to know oh, you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with it any, anyways. Yuri smiles gently, uh, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches out into her bag and pulls out the several swirls of, ri of thin ribbit, ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami... Uh, a paper I asked for? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't need to be using the paper f for folding origami. I think it, I'd like to uh, write on... I think I'd like to do 
is right on different words on each paper. We need to, uh, we need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah. Uh, what will these be used for? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can, then we can fasten the papers onto a ribbon to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch an eye uh, of those passing through by the room. It may attract some um, uh, to peek inside. That really, that's really creative. I had no idea you, you had, you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do great a little in, intense, so as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with, with red cheeks. Is it me, or is she more relaxed than it was just the two of us? Or maybe it's just the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here, here's a marker, Johnza. You can write your, any character you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Uh, sitting on the floor together, the two of us start to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, do my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri un un uh, unreveals a long strand of red ribbon and her desire right length. Uh, then she reaches out into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket of knives. Eh? A knife is strangely beautiful. It's a silver hand with has a instructed pattern of uh, waves each into it. Uh, the blade itself is generally tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It really looks fancy. Ah, uh, well... Uh, Embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? Are you going to think it's weird? Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alrighty. The... Thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe? Ah, uh, what am I saying? Uh, please don't think I'm weirder for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm laugh. I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you are, are about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I guess it's kind of, I guess it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of uh, intense. <laughs> uh, because it's a really, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? You relax her expressions once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Uh, Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. That's normally how you should pass a knife over. And definitely, I also learned this in Scouts and Right, uh, because we had to deal with, like, uh, uh, we kind of handled with knives before and uh, learned how to whittle and whatnot, so. I take it and turn it around to my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do we even get a knife like this? Curious of the uh, sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with... With, the, with my index finger. Ow! Johnsa, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. It's like a little tap and it's like, ah, god damn I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood thickens down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives it a... a Gives the wound a closer look. Ah. Uh, she stares at it in terms of, uh, noticeably fidgets. And if you're gonna squeamish, I'll, I'll go wash it off. Ah. Uh, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's one of those kind of relationships. Okay. <laughs> I feel like her tongue is crawling around my finger. Startled, I intensely pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowered her head, and her, and her face is burning up. Yuri, that was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Uh, sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, anyway, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this uh, for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be, oh oh yeah I know what happens now <laughs> I remember this part I I, ne I rarely go through Yuri's uh, section too much so or at least look at it through YouTube well it's been a while since I've looked through normal gameplay anyways of it so I think the only one I've seen of this route or at least the weekend here was uh, with Jack set the guy so uh, this might be a bit uh, stupid thing to do but I'll do it anyways I'll take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Johnza, did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweat aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Johnza. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? <laughs> Yuri's calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where did you keep your advantages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It's just, it was a tiny cut. It looks like it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is uh, quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watched Yuri cut through the ribbon and like it was nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continued the progress on the paper. <clears throat> After we finished attaching the paper to the ribbons, we laid them on a lot all outside uh side by side. <clears throat> Sorry to set the clear my throat a little bit. Yeah, it looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking on coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yep, I'm ready to go continue my to do my next task. Hopefully you're not the imposter, Yuri. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy uh, painted table tables. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked uh, me to buy was a kit of watercolored paint tables. We'll need about six cups of water uh, to put each uh, on the table. If you don't mind fetching those for us. Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill up the cup too much, it'll be too dull. Uh, taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use the small plastic bathroom cups rather than the full size glasses. Put them on the plate to catch any point paint uh, that drops. Then bring them back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back down towards her arm. And if we remember what happened in Act 2... Yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it hot in here? Or, or anything? Uh... No, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let me mix the paint. Yuri hardly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the table, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought it would be uh, we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gun across the banner. Start with the color of the sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nightmare. Once it dries, I'll write the inspiration quote across the banner. We can hang in it in the wall behind the podium in front of the classroom. Ah, neat. Uh, what are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun for uh, to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After all on the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't give e uh, get in each other's way. Yuri uses the brush and adds a few dots of different colored across the banner, and serves uh, the color guide uh, when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school, <laughs> as you're like painting and you like coloring stuff at certain points. I guess adding in. I kind of remember those days too, back in elementary school. 
God, I kind of really miss those days. I even miss high school. Those were good times. Even in college, I even missed college a little bit. Well, except for the freaking heavy work I had to do in college. Jesus. At least in high school, I was able to finish my work at school a lot, so I still had a lot of free time in my hands. <laughs> Anyways. Painting on a banner uh, with watercolor feels like a, uh, the art class project we had back then. Oh, I just realized something, too. I haven't actually started recording anything for the podcast channel. I really gotta start doing that again. I really, like, I have no other extra videos for that. I just realized that. <laughs> Anyways. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if it feels too childish. No, I didn't mean it like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I, I can spend some time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. You know, I kind of get that kind of feeling too at times, at least with my one friend that normally hang out at times, normally sometimes just us at times, just mostly chilling at her place at times. Uh, she rarely comes over to here, like she's only actually come into my house one time, but normally I go to her place where we just kind of hang out into... I guess it's kind of the living room because, well, her area is kind of like down in the basement a little bit, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, even if it's simple, that, like, reading, you know, you just already read that. <laughs> just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. Yeah, exactly. Like I was kind of just saying, like, even if we're kind of both doing our own thing a little bit, it's just nice to kind of hang out with someone, you know. You, you may even point some stuff out. I mean, hell, she even points some stuff out as she, uh, watches on her phone all the time, so. And I do the same, too, even with my Switch and whatnot. Anyways. I think it's, uh, that's all that takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I c can't understand where she's coming from. I feel that way, th uh, things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. Exactly. <laughs> See, it's not it's this it's not just the girls that I'm in this game that if you like this game, there's a lot of relatable things in here, and lessons you can take. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles genuinely. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over uh, the banner and grabs the unused uh, paintbrush, but I moves it at the same time, causing our heads to bump into her my head into hers. Gah! Sorry, Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my head in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just, it just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There's a drop of paint on Yuri's face and neck. There's something in on your, is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, uh, it was totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush over to fetch a, ta a small towel and I dampen it with some hot water. I return to my room and kneel down, uh, kneel back down in front of her. There it is. There's the CG. <laughs> Here. I pat down uh, Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry, I didn't want it to be cold water. <laughs> because she would have been like, oh! <laughs> uh, having finished, I started to uh, retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a bit longer. It feels really nice. Yeah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. Uh, she looks up into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when uh, she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in daze uh, and developed by her own thoughts. She breathes generally half thought, uh, slightly uh, parted lips. What is happening? Uh, is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving off this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrists, sending me a tingle senseless through my arm. 
Suddenly her face seems to have be much closer to mine than just for a moment ago. Ah, Yuri slowly uh, pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded lately. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it begins. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movement seems clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, for, uh, focusing and ignoring the event that just happened. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue flow, uh, following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling in the night sky with the white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner the, as a whole, it's very pretty and na nature, natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add uh, the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't it take a while? Well, perhaps it'd be best to leave it here, then you can bring it in the morning. I can uh, do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts, Is that if that's okay. That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> uh, you say that like you're, you're glad it's over. I was wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit. Uh, no, it's not that. I was just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I'm a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you, you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping that we'd have a little extra time to finish work, uh, finish in the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. So, I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being so, such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is, is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I should be uh, disappointed, so you, you shouldn't, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. <clears throat> oh, excuse me again. <laughs> like I said, when I talk a lot, I get gassy. Gathering her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcasted. I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxation, a, rela a relaxed environment. Uh, but that doesn't mean this has to be the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk out. I walk her out of the d front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else you need aid me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of have to s say. I said that without thinking. About today, it's fine if we didn't have much time we as much time as we wanted because we can do this again whenever you want we can come over and and go out and do some somewhere i i forgot you didn't like going out much i stumble over my own words yuri simply smiles brushfully anyways you know what i'm saying trying to say so you're very thoughtful johnza yuri takes a step closer to me i then briefly squeeze my hands I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. So, Sayori! Eh? Eh, hi, Janza. Sayori! Just now, we weren't. Eh, <laughs> it's okay, Janza. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it was nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I really need to be on my way to leave. Aw, already? That's really too bad. I'm sorry. Well, we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so it should be fine, all right? Of course. She already beams. Beam! <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Yuri waves goodbye after her. Alrighty, time to do some skipping. We already did all this. There is one thing I'm going to do differently, which is I'll, I'll always be your best friend, which is the one I have right here. I tap this. 
You'll always be my dearest friend. <laughs> what you need most is for things to be like they always been. Monica told me the truth. Told me that the truth. She told me how much happier you'd seemed after I joined the club. I knew your struggle oh, and with something really difficult dealings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best for us uh, and that will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll I'll get things back the way they were. I I see. Sari forces a smile through her uncontrollably pain expression. Heh. <sighs> Is this what it feels to get stabbed in the chest? I sh I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time you were not a uh, happiness down the path. So that's why I came here. So I could get answers I needed to hear. Then... The other thing, you, you're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. I don't know oh, me better than anyone, Jonza. I trust you with everything. Anything at all. So, Sorry he smiles, finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! Clutching her hand. Head in both her hands, she screams, screams so loudly as she can, as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know what, how to react. She, I imagine like Yuri, like not even like that far away yet, and she just hears that. It's like, oh god, is that Sayori? Is she okay? Uh, I don't know if I should go back or. <laughs> she's like confused on what to do. It's like I, I hope she's okay. I'm just, so shocked that I don't know how to react. Shuri looks over her shoulder and flat as me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Siori! I'm left haplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? Because you broke her heart, you dumbass! <laughs> There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her through the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I, co I can comfort her. I keep wondering if she would be, if she'd be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things go back to the way they were. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. Sayori will be, always be my dearest friend. And I will do everything, whatever it takes, to put a smile on her face every day. Yeah, I don't think that's happening, buddy, because of what's about to happen. Also, um, another little warning, if you, this is the vid first video you're seeing. Um, really fucked up shit's gonna happen. Um, if you don't know, Siori is about to kill herself. So, yeah. <laughs> and that's what we're probably about to kind of see quickly. So, um, yeah. Oh, right, the banner. Uh, the banner printed in dry generally rolls up and, uh, to take with me. Uh, she sent me the pleasant text to remind me not to forget anything, and I reassure her. her. Alright, now we skip again. Alright. Should be good old Skippy for a good old while. Oh, never mind. Uh, about how I basically turned her down, uh, turned down her confession. That makes me really seem like a bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows her best for her, right? Jeez. Gamma head, gamma head, gamma head, blah blah blah. Alrighty. Isn't something? Isn't that something more of a boyfriend would do? In any case, yeah, that's the one thing because that, there's different lines there. It's like that would, wouldn't this be something a boyfriend would do? Is what he just said, and then what we did before was like that is something a boyfriend would do, wouldn't it? Alright, we'll try to skip past all the... Yeah, okay, the cutscene kind of continues on its own. Ugh, this thing, this part still gives me the creeps. But yeah. <laughs> like I said, I, I gave a warning. Plus, if you're already this far in the series, you should have looked earlier on in the series to know what's going on. So... 
turn down her profession. That's has to be what pushed her over the edge. Her organizing, agonizing scream still echoes in my ear. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. Yep, it was. And given her what I know on best for our relationship, I could have prevented this. Oh, God. God, I'm going to try to get through the rest of this as best I can. I don't think there's really much extra things. I just want to kind of try to get through the rest of the end of the game. But, like, there's going to be some cutscenes and whatnot as well that it's going to be hard for me to skim through, so... Oh. It just kind of took a while. <laughs> um... So, since it's going to be a little while, I think, uh... Since we're in Act 2 now... Uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip through, I'm going to actually stop the recording, and then I'm going to add this to the end of the recording anyway, so... Or add the next recording to this one. Maybe. Eh. Nah. We'll just keep going as fast as we can. Don't make me do the skip again. Okay, no, it's doing it itself. Alrighty. All we have to do is wait. Ah, uh, yes, a, little, a lot of weird shit happens, you know? <laughs> Don't really need to save or anything. You know, I don't think there's really much else I have to do differently. I just have to show the end, really, so... Yeah, I don't know. We're just kind of skimming through. I don't know. Maybe I'll speed up this portion. Uh, I already read the special poem, so I'm not doing that. Oh, let's go with uh, Natsuki's again. There we go. Now we just skip everything. Yay! This will be the longest part. Skip. Yeah, you can kind of tell the room is tilting a little bit. God, that was scary. Do 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 Da da da. Mm hmm. Oh god, this is gonna be a little while. Oops. Skippity doo da, skippity dee. Skippity doo da, skippity dee. You have the super gaze. <laughs> I like how I'm just going through this very fast. Oh boy. Okay. Anyways. Nothing bad happened right here. Man, everything goes way fast. Oh, Yuri's already gone right. Play with me! <laughs> Man, that was creepy. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, no, this takes a little while. Crap. <laughs> Monica. Um, oh well, there we go. Fury's back! Please help me. Yeah, we are. Oh, hey, oh no. Mm. Ow. <laughs> no, wait, stop it. I'm sorry, I need to go through the game fast. Oh. I didn't see that before. Well, okay, that happened. So I guess we could go back with the speed up now. Eat my hair. <laughs> oh no, she cut herself. Oh, who would have expected that? <laughs> For you guys, it's probably like super fast. Yeah, I'm not gonna adjust the life of this. There we go. Natsuki, you're first. Because you're the only one staying here. Oh, wait, there's unseen dialogue. This one's alright. Oh, because I actually wrote it for her this time. Alright. Well, yeah. As good as yesterday, at least. Is there any, enough time with anyone but Yuri? I'm gonna work hard, I mean. As prison or prison or anything. But it doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? Read mine too for now. But just be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? And then this is just that thing. Okay, so that dialogue was a little different, but I'm just gonna go by it. And, uh, skip it time. creepy. No. Oh, wait. Said the dog for special mentions. Okay, I'm staring at the dot. I love you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Back to speed in. I don't really have to look. Sure, I'll just do that. There we go. I guess we can just, like, for the, the video I'm recording right now, uh, sure, I, conf I, I accept your confession. But yeah, oh, uh, you're about to stab herself. Had to give out that warning. Jeez, I guess it would be possible to maybe try to do a speed run of Toki Doki Literature Club. And then we skip for, now this one is normally skipped anyway, so, you know what, I'll just stop the video from, like, skipping, or, like, because I already know what I did by now. I probably, like, uh, made things a lot more faster in the actual recording, so. And then there's some points where I'm going to have to, like, since there's some new stuff, at least with Natsuki, the dot thing, and then the Sayori thing, photo there. So, yeah. <laughs> this one's just this normally, so. And then we'll have to go do the thing with Monica. 
Well, actually, I, I guess I'll just leave this part of the video super fast, so you probably can't even understand what I'm saying. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yuri is dying! Oh, boy. Might as well get you next time. Still waiting, still waiting. Oh, I thought we'd... Okay, apparently we go through another evening and night. <laughs> Festival time. I actually have to, like... Tap this myself since there's no saving and whatnot. Da da da. Oh, yeah, you're a monster. Blah blah blah. Oh, I can't skip it. Oh, I have to fucking listen. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I guess I could just delete her, but... Oh. There we go. You gotta exit for the thing. Um, I'm gonna check out the side stories for bed. Well, not actually, like, check them, but, you know. Yeah, I figured we'd have more so self-love, reflection, balance. Alrighty. And honestly, actually, I might just save the rest of the next episode, and then we can actually start with uh, some of the um, other ones, because there's probably not much left. Oh, there's one poem that's new. There's also some new art as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that fast speed up. I would have done it all in this one video and tried to like get to the ending part because there is something at the end that would have been different, but um, unfortunately I didn't really have enough time for that. So yeah, we also have all the stuff with Yuri now. So that's something. So yeah. And then all these other CGs are more likely for the um, other ones. But yeah, here's that other one we found, the I Love You one. So that was new. Also, yeah, back this background. We already had the kitchen from Natsuki's. Ah, oh, you're with the chocolate in her right? uh, one. Now, oh, look at this! Oh, that's cute. I actually like that. All of them in costumes for Halloween. Celebrate Halloween 2019. Oh, yeah, th wait, no, this, ga this game didn't come out in 2019. Uh, select the world during horror, during the poem game. Oh, okay, so some of these can be unlocked by choosing a certain word. Interesting. So these are like promos. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I don't even know how to find all of them. I don't think I'm going to actually like 100% all these things here, but, you know, I'm trying to show off as much as I can. Um... Yeah, so I'll delete Monica's file, and then we will uh, see the certain new ending I decided to go for. Hopefully it is true. And I never actually like fully saw someone's playthrough do it, but, you know, I'm unfortunately out of time, so I don't have time to show it. But then after that, we can actually start with the side stories, which are the one thing that is completely new to me. So, you know, that'll be fun. But anyways, we're going to end things here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press the like button or subscribe or whatever, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. See you next time. Jamie was like, why are you cheering on? My fortress is way stronger than your circle bar. And I'm like, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, if only there was an ability card as well to swap, that would be interesting.
Well, I have to say, get off channeling.